Let's examine a simple reaction mechanism. To get the overall chemical reaction for this mechanism, I need to add up steps 1 and 2. Before we add them up, we notice that NOCl2 is a product in step 1, and then a reactant in step 2. So it's produced and then consumed, so it's an intermediate, and we're going to cancel it out from our overall reaction. Which means my overall reaction is 2NO plus Cl2 produces 2NOCl. Now, notice also that step one is labeled as slow, so that's another way of calling this my rate determining step. My slow step of the mechanism will determine the rate of my overall chemical reaction because the overall reaction cannot proceed any faster than the slowest step. We can also use this information to write a rate law. So we're gonna say that rate equals K times the concentration of NO times the concentration of Cl. So my rate law will always match my slow step or rate determining step, in this case, step one. What about graphically? So if I look at this graph underneath, notice how the energy I need to go from reactant to my first transition state, this is called my activation energy. This is very high. So compared to this activation energy over here, which is much lower. So what this means is that it's gonna take longer to achieve a higher activation energy. This is my slow step or step one of my mechanism. And here where I see the activation energy is less, this represents my faster step or my step two of this mechanism. If you have any questions about this concept or rate determining step, please let me know in the comments and thank you very much for tuning in.